going to start the recording here. And so let's get down to business straight. I like the number. That's yes, it was, it was just for one second. It was a perfect number. That was yeah. my favorite number. That's the year. Actually, my lucky number is one, one or two, two or like one, one, one. So it's, it was a good one. Yeah, seven, seven, seven was a good one. Yeah. The year I born, 77. All right, let's, uh, let's start recording. It started and um, all right, uh, everyone welcome for us, uh, for joining us on this call with uh, our special guest, Dr. Anna Becker, uh, CEO of Endotech. And today we're gonna talk about um, trading results, uh, developing AI uh, DAISY uh, results. So we got a lot of good information to cover today. But before we do, I wanna uh, go over a few things. And I uh, just wanna uh, go over um, and remind you guys, we have three um, different source of uh, uh, making money with Daisy, right? The one is a uh, uh, front end, that's uh, through smart contract uh, rewarding program uh, when you invite people, referral program, right? The second part is a uh, Daisy fund. And this is what we're gonna talk about, uh, the rewarding Daisy fund. And the third part is equity that a lot of people forget. And before bef before I talk about equity, I wanna uh, uh, kind of cover a few things with Dr. Anna. And then after, at the end, I wanna go into it and explain some of the things that a lot of members don't uh, really realized how big this is when we, when, so, and now um, I wanna, again, thank Dr. Anna for, um, coming in with us. I know it's the most busiest time right now for all of you, all your team working around That's the great. clock. Yes, I, I, I talked to some of your guys in, uh, in the technical department at three in the morning, four in the morning, they're replying. And then at eight in the morning, they're still replying. So I don't know. That's, it's, great. I, I, That's great. So before we go into it, can you tell us a little bit, um, I know you're in a new office right now, uh, already moved. Uh, tell me about uh, what is going on in, in Endotech side? Yes, uh, it was an exciting period for us starting uh, April, actually all the end of last year and uh, this year specifically. Uh, we received the funds for the DAISY project and uh, started to hire new teams. Uh, we are working from uh, because again we it's it's very ambitious project not only for us I think but for any any company that would like to take this type of endeavor, so we started uh, uh, with uh, several teams uh, financial analyst uh, ML uh, artificial intelligence team uh, uh, data scientist team. Uh, and uh, we're already working for a few months starting. Uh, again, January, so it's already three months that we're working on the project. Uh, very interesting results. I don't want to you know, drill into these results yet, but uh, we're working on multiple industries, we're working on multiple money maps as, as we uh, proclaimed before. And uh, uh, we, we are waiting for our first results on the email systems uh, to arrive this week. So it, it will be very interesting to see which parts we already cracked, which parts we are, we're going to crack. Uh, we also added uh, uh, a very nice addition to the uh, quant team, to the people that are responsible for the trading models. Uh, again, in my office, uh, we have, uh, you know, every 15 minutes, somebody comes in and says, can we start a meeting? So uh, uh, we're working literally day and night and one o'clock in, in, in the morning, I get the calls from my team as well. Can we do this or can we do that? So it's 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 a very busy time, but it's very very exciting. So uh, uh, on the Daisy part, uh, we're doing two things in parallel. One is we're currently trading, right? We're currently trading with our existing methodologies. We're trying to implement every time the additional information that we receive from our uh, financial analyst teams and uh, from our ML teams. But primarily, it's right now re uh, relying on our old endotech methodologies, and that's what I would like to tell you about uh, in the next next uh, topic about what are the results. And uh, from other side, we are working on the Daisy, on the improvements, on uh, the uh, the main part of the Daisy 
uh, research project. All right, that's that's great. That's awesome. And uh, I know your team right now is um, the. How many people do you have total in? Right yes, we already uh, we we had massive hiring. So right now we are sixty people, sixty plus. We still have about uh, 10 people to add to the system because uh, uh, we need uh, uh, more ML guys, we need more uh, artificial intelligence. The rest of the teams are very strong. So uh, because we, we're really growing, we are now managing over 100 million in uh, uh, under management of our strategies. Uh, we are currently managing over 90,000 uh, clients. So it's it's a massive operation. So we had to increase and to improve the scalability. So uh, we added to both angles, Daisy team and Endotech team in order to, to serve the clients and uh, to make sure it, we are the first, I think, uh, company in the world that allowing algorithmic trading to such a scale. I mean, there is no other precedence that we have fully automated execution with full control and full monitoring systems to make sure that every trade goes through. So, and also I think from the results point of view, we have, uh, I, I still waiting for to, to hear from our BI team, business intelligence team, to hear how many clients are making money, but I think it's vast majority, I don't know if it's over 90 or 95% of the clients are very happy with their results and, and uh, uh, and it is, but it, I, will, I will be able to say it in the upcoming weeks. Also, we're doing uh, in the midst of the audit. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, it's it's much bigger as everything else that we do. So uh, when once we transfer the information to our audit company, uh, it was more than a hundred and ten thousand lines of the execution of the transactions on the Binance. And uh, uh, I was personally was not aware of the system, how Binance does it. So it's taking more time than we were expecting, but uh, uh, I'm still waiting for the answer from the team when it will be completed. So as soon as we will let you know. You said 110,000 lines. Yes, yes. And in, in reality, how many trades do we do? In uh, reality, I, I, I can't tell you exactly. I think it was like, five multiply 40 like 200 trades maybe yeah. a little bit more so it's it's not it we didn't have that much trading because it was uh, just a few entry points for each asset on each strategy so it was not that much so if if i go really wild it was 1000 but not 110000 so when we were discussing it the first time with audit companies we said you know what we don't do that much trading we do uh, about 1000 not even thousand, like hundreds of trades a month, then apparently it's not that because since the volume is big, it's uh, broken down uh, uh, to uh, orders and to the executions. And that's what makes it such a big, such a big story for the audit team. So again, it's, 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 uh, it's already in, we're, we're waiting for the answers. Do you think, um, uh, do you have timeline when it's going to be ready our first audit? Uh, I will not go to my email, but it should be there already, the timeline. So let's let's right. better wait. Let's better wait. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. We'll update later then. Yeah. That's good. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's get then uh, straight to um, a lot of people have um, questions. I know there's a lot of new people joining and um they see how how the market is choppy they don't understand the market right a lot of people new people they've never been involved in trading and when they see the profits rewards goes up then go down they don't understand how come it went down they think it's every day has to go up so this call is actually specifically we wanted to a uh, more kind of educational and show history uh, what happened, how much we trade, and show even history beyond days before even days started. So I know you're, you're ready to share this with us. So if you yeah, can- Gladly, um, gladly. Yes. So let's start. Actually, I have three blackboards in my office. So now we have a virtual one. So um, in the DAISY, since start of the DAISY, uh, we had, uh, uh, let me switch to here. Uh, we had 53,000 
uh, since 53 million in total contribution of the assets of the uh, uh, US dollar uh, to the testing funds, right? And uh, here, what you see, you see the balance. You see how much total funds is residing right now on our Binance account. Uh, also, uh, if, if you were following our previous calls, we were usually showing our Binance account uh, and its results. Now we're stopping it just because we're already moving to additional two exchanges and uh, it will become more cumbersome to show all of the exchanges, all of the results. But the principle uh, stays the same. The numbers that you see here is a collective number from all the funds that were received and that we're using on accounts on multiple exchanges. So to explain you what you see here, the easiest way is to go to your contribution and to see it from the single point of view. Because uh, people that started in January, they saw initial uh, period of no trading because it was a uh, high volatility and then it was a nice uptake up to 20 something percent, almost 30. Then it went down, then it went down even to a single digit, right? And now it climbed back to 15. From my point of view to the current situation with endotech algorithms, with AI that we deploy, it's a good result because this is what's expected. That's what we expect with current behavior of the market. And I would like to show you uh, uh, several examples of what's going on <clears throat> with uh, uh, Endotech uh, results over the last year. So first result is from the real accounts uh, that were traded on the uh, uh, April's shuttles, right? So this is one of the examples. Uh, again, it's real trading, real account. Uh, we started on 1st of April and we take it till 1st of April. Uh, total it made after commissions 271. And as you can see here, once it started in April for about uh, uh, three and a half months, even, even almost four months, we were flat. We were plus minus 10% as we, we see it now. Then again, for a very long time, let's say from eight, uh, from uh, September to uh, uh, end of December, we were flat. So these periods are expected and there is nothing uh, kind of worrisome for us, especially once we understand the uh, situation at the market. So this is one of our strategies from last year, right? I wanna share with you just for the education purposes the worst case scenario that happened to us, to our strategies in last year. So uh, we had one strategy that uh, experienced the black swan, meaning that uh, market went, went against us very quickly and we were not able to, uh, 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 not that we were not able to, we let the loss happen, right? This is again, a standard situation when you experiencing the loss but you're saying it's, it's that what needs to happen because we don't want to intervene into the strategy. So this specific strategy resulted at the, end, at the end of the year at 49%. Now we cut most of our clients from the strategies already in, uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, somewhere here in August, right? Because we saw that this strategy compared to all other strategies is underperforming. But some of the uh, clients stayed on the system. And again, they now in plus after all of the commissions. So this is the worst case scenario that can happen. Again, if strategy is not that successful, even with the market. So there is no magic bullet that you say, market is good, everything will work. No, you still need to work very hard to make it happen. And that's how we try to do this. This is our achievement. But again, if we miss, this is how we miss. This is our, our worst case strategy that happened to us. And of course, there are some very nice stories of uh, uh, when we deploy leverage, when we hit it right in, in the uh, market points, that uh, some strategies that we started with leverage from October, uh, we are now at 546%. And to make sure that you understand, DAISY is 
somewhere in between, between our best case, some of the worst case, because it's some of the strategies will be there, maybe not 49%, but they might be 100% or 150%, and our standard performance of 270. So our expectations again for this year that we will end up at 200 plus, and if we make in time the DAISY project, project, DAISY progress, then we should expect high performance, higher than 200 and higher than uh, even 250 and up. So to explain you why we are not worried about this 15% is actually the market performance. Because if you look at the market performance from the uh, uh, standard point of view that you look at the chart of the Bitcoin, it looks very aggressively positive, right? We made so much progress from 38,000 to our current 57, 59. I apologize, we have a sound outside of the office. Uh, uh, then we have, uh, 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 but if we look at this, from the point of view of the logarithmic performance, and that's what's actually interesting for us because we are working on percentages. We're not working on the uh, uh, flat pricing, right? We're working on more on the algori uh, logarithmic part of the pricing. You can see that we actually ended the cycle of very long trend at Bitcoin, and now it's kind of staggering and specifically staggering for the last months, months and a half. So in this situation to be profitable on trends, it's very good. It means that we're doing a good job of not uh, uh, over trading, of not uh, uh, doing the wrong entries. On the either side, it's even more complicated because what you can see here we got into extremely, extremely choppy period here and we could have been minus 30, 40% uh, by the end of this uh, period by trying to catch the trends because you never know if its trend will go down or if this trend will continue and so on. So the fact that we succeeded to be in ITER in such a nice plus, it's, it's again, it's achievement. So if market will catch again softer trends, it will become, uh, uh, it will move up we are right in place, we're ready in the trade, and we will stay there. So again, if we're looking at it from our trading perspective, not from the buy and hold perspective, but from the trading perspective, we are looking at assets that looks like this. It doesn't look very trendy. That's what you need to understand. We are not now in very good situation. So Results that you see here, I want to show you again. Results that you want, you you can see here, just shows that we are currently in this situation from the trading point of view. Even that again, if from your buy and hold perspective, you might see it as excellent performance, but we will see better performance in situation when you don't see it as a buy and hold. So again, from our, we see, we uh, feel very comfortable with the results at the moment, and we're still right on track with what we expect. And uh, this is how it's traded. This is how it's traded. The idea is to keep potential of 200 plus percent for the year without risking more than 30, 35% of the capital and again, we are now a fairly nice fund of uh, 50 million, and it's very important for us to keep risk low. So Edward? Yes, yes, so um, thank you, Anna. Uh, I wanna add something um, that I hear a lot, not just in the field, overall in industry, that people who buy and hold, uh, holding Bitcoin, holding Ethereum, holding other coins, right? And when it's bull market, you see all this big, you know, um, growth, a lot of percentages, um, profits. And then when you look at the trading, right, um, it's not performing a same as, um, as bull market. But one thing is people missing uh, in trading, we, in a long term, we compound. With the holding coin, you don't compound. You hold the same coin, 
you don't compound it goes up and then goes down goes up goes down right but with the trading uh we at, in a long time we're gonna overperform the market uh, it's been it's been shown in a history it's it, we've done this before if you look in uh endotech back office and if you can even play a little bit with it put three years back and see how much you would do profit with uh, one single strategy. Now in Daisy, we have multiple different strategies and you just saw we had a strategies that um, do uh, not so well, but I think it's still good 40% a year uh, in the trading industry, it's good, right? And then we have five months so that, that with the leverage I just saw it with the five months uh, over 500%, 546% in five months. But uh, so we diversify in different uh, 30 different strategies, right, uh, Dr. Anna, you there? Yeah, my apologies. Uh, yes, we're diversifying right now into uh, 45 strategies. 45. And uh, uh, yes, we are going to diversify even further because the funds that we received allows us to be more creative, to, be, to, have, uh, to reduce risk on using even not altcoins, not top 10 altcoins, but uh, 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 higher movers. So from our point of view, we have more freedom right now to move. And we mm -hmm. have more freedom right now to deploy additional systems. Before we had only trend following system. Now we added swing system. We'll go to shorter time frame. So we have more freedom to diversify and to improve results. That's good. And how does it, uh, this funds, this trading funds, how does it help uh, you to build this new uh, super AI Daisy? Um, can you just give us a little bit uh, background on that? Yes. Uh, again, it's uh, once you receive additional funds that you can think about uh, adding, usually once you're talking about small, small uh, um, account, you have to decide very strictly on one or two or three approaches at most that you will try to cover the situation. Now, instead of it, we having 10 different teams that each has its own, you know, own perspective, own attempt on improving the results. And we can try all 10. So just imagine how much more you can, you can, uh, uh, you don't need to be focused on just one approach, on just one idea. You can really try. And I have uh, uh, two students that right now are really focused on correlation analysis, on the analysis of how Bitcoin it moves. And uh, uh, we found very interesting things about bot behavior within uh, Bitcoin and Ether. So it's, it's, it was kind of a revelation for us, but it improves drastically our entry ability and exit ability. So again, it's, it's not today, but within months or two, we'll be able to deploy at least to 10% of our assets. This a new idea of how to use correlations to improve entries and exits. And it's correlations working on the tick level. It's not about four hours. It's really about one second, two seconds and so on. Uh, second group, for example, is working on, uh, um, uh, just give me a sec, which one I will choose. Yes, uh, 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 second group is working on the optimization of all these approaches because you have 10 different ideas that you can combine, but from other side, you have only two exchanges that allows you to use leverage. So, for example, right now, most of our funds are residing on the exchange where we don't use uh, uh, leverage. The initial funds were all nicely separated to the leverage strategies. Since right now we added funds when they were already in, the, the positions were already in, we added additional ones to the non-leveraged uh, uh, market. And then it becomes, you know, it's, it becomes little bit sad that you cannot enjoy such a large trend that you can uh, enjoy with us. So we are now working on the optimization techniques of how to improve entry of the funds and uh, uh, final trading. So again, we, we have many different ideas that we're able now to try and to use. And again, our next goal is what's written on our blackboard is 1st of July, we need to move to the Forex. We need to add high frequency systems in the forex arena in uh, you know just regular euro dollar and 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 it should allow us to be much more uh, uh 
again, stable from the point of view that whenever this two, three or four months of the uh, performance where you don't see result will happen on the Bitcoin, you will have uh, Forex side covering for it on, on this part of the fund. So again, our goal is not only to improve Bitcoin, but now we're working on the same models for the uh, Forex side. And of course, the DAISY, the DAISY project is the backbone for everything, where we are looking at the uh, uh, open interest, we're looking at the volatility, we're looking at all of the uh, different models that tell us where the activity is and where the st stable volatility is. So again, it's, it's, it's right now it's, it's a massive research project that done by uh, uh, 20 analysts and ML scientists that really, you know, we, we're running right now. We're still in the phase where we don't have uh, many results, more questions than answers, but it's, you know, it's, it takes time. It takes time. That's good. I know a lot of people, they really love crypto markets. They want, they want to be more in crypto, but I know we're going to max the crypto market we're going to maximize how much we can and with uh and then we'll diversify in, in forex as well which is going to be exciting because there is periods when two three months in crypto not much going on and this is when we'll see yeah well once you have the once you have the movements you're happy and we are happy but again we are not in control of this market like market we need to follow the market we cannot control it so uh, and we love this market because the modeling of this market is also very interesting. If uh, we will talk about this uh, in the next sessions about what we already found, uh, hopefully within the uh, next couple of weeks, what we found and how we place different assets of different modeling. But we view Bitcoin market more of the behavioral finance and we view it more as a um, uh, Faith-based currency, right? That that was used in in, in the in the in the modeling that uh, people have free money, people are starving for the results, and that where they move. So we have this modeling, but again, it's it's we need additional types of assets in order to ensure that our fund is successful, uh, both within the certain months and in long term. All right. Sounds good. Now, the next thing is about the back office um, that people see 15%, uh, 14% profits in their back office is different because a different level people came in. So they, not everybody has the same uh, rewards, right? And when it comes to with JAR rewards, um, I know we are, you know, the timing, can you tell us the timing? Yes, uh, uh, we expect it by end of next week to be able to enable this uh, uh, this functionality. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, again, hopefully you will be patient with us that uh, uh, everything will go smooth and uh, you will be able to see. We Again, I personally do not recommend to withdraw uh, large amounts of money just because we are all about compound. So you can test it, you can view how it works. We are about compound effect. So uh, uh, from the logical point of view it's uh, you you don't need to to go yeah. to the max but it's your decision completely yours we we don't you know we don't control you as we don't control the market so okay. you you decide you decide here's uh here's what's uh, really important uh for people um and this is what we're gonna all see especially the pay setters who's in the pool in pay setters you guys are gonna see a huge um excitement going on not just in PayStat, also in your uni level uh, and in the front end, because here's what happens. When a person withdraws, most people are gonna withdraw so they can buy next year. So what happens is when they withdraw, we all get paid. The PayStatter, 1.2% uh, goes in the PayStatter. Then 10 levels, uh, uni level people get paid and then that same person who just withdraw profits, now he wants to buy next level, next tier. And then the front end money comes in, goes into pay setter. So I believe we'll see the increase in pay setter bonuses once the, this function is going to start work. There's going to be a lot more excitement, more momentum. And that will bring uh, uh, the DAISY project um, 
maybe even ahead of the schedule. Our goal is to reach uh, within 120 days, uh, reached uh, 500 million into a uh, fund, a trading fund. But with uh, ena enabling this withdrawal process, uh, some people will probably never withdraw. Not, not never, but they will not withdraw for a year or two. They want to compound. Uh, for example, I'm one of them. I love to compound, right? But people who are still in the low tiers, they have two tiers, three, five, six, right? They want to buy next year, next year, until they get all 10 tiers, right? And so this is when they're going to withdraw and buy next year because there's more benefit for them to withdraw and buy it again next year because they get paid uh, from more people when they uh, jo joining their system. So that's that's uh, exciting news. Um, so we're waiting, let me kind of recap. On an uh, audit, uh, it's almost ready. And the delay became because we had uh, 110,000 lines of trading instead of um, 100 trades, right? Um, so it, it changed um, different. And then on uh, with job button should be working uh, sometimes uh, next week, uh, towards the end of the week. And the back office, I know your team is working um, around the clock. I know, I know everything. I mean, I talked to them uh, between me and Ilya and Jeremy Roma, all three of us. We, we like, while they work in back office, we're also sending them all those issues people are going in. And all those issues that we run into, it turns out to be it's not an issue of smart contract or back office. It's just that people still not used to it uh, going through this process, right? We're learning. and um, But everything's going smooth and good. Uh, we're excited. Dr. Anna, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you. And, and as soon as the um, as soon as the, I mean, is it open? Can I fly into Israel now already or not yet? Oh, actually, I don't know. I know that uh, my brother arrived yesterday. So, so some way you can get in. I don't know if it's... I'm here not too far from you guys in Dubai and um, I'm going to look into it. Maybe I can fly in and visit you yes, guys. Yes, you're welcome. And do a, a webinar from there all together. Yes, it will be fun. Great. Uh, thank you, everyone. Again, thanks for joining. And um, and we'll post this video and record it uh, probably later today or tomorrow. Thank you again, Dr. Anna. Thank you. Bye, everyone.